Hey everyone, PJ here, and today we're going to talk about something that has interested me since I was a kid, and that is aliens. A lot of people believe that aliens don't exist, but I personally don't believe that, mainly because there are billions upon billions of planets in just the Milky Way alone. And you have the balls to tell me that out of those billions of planets, only one has life? Yeah, right. There is evidence of life on other planets. Back in 2001, NASA released a document claiming to have found life on Mars in the form of bacteria. And there's also bacteria that's been found on meteorites as well. On top of that, there are also planets such as Kepler-22b, which are perfectly capable of sustaining life. So, with all this in mind, it's not too hard to believe that life on other planets is possible. So with all this said, if there really are aliens out there, then why haven't we seen them? Well, who's to say we haven't exactly? Look at this picture right here. NASA has actually confirmed that the object you're looking at is alien in origin. Some people even believe that there are aliens living on Earth right now disguised as ordinary people. Some famous people rumored to secretly be aliens are Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and especially Jeff Bezos. I mean, just look at him. Take one look at this man and tell me he's from Earth. In 1947, a man named Harold Dahl was on a fishing trip when he saw a bunch of donut-shaped objects in the sky. Harold quickly snapped a picture of them, but it was later blurred out. In 2019, a family in Washington State also claimed to have seen a UFO in their yard. I saw this immense object in the field over there with lights that were spinning, and it was something we had never seen before. It took up most of this valley, and it was just hovering. It was just hovering, and we were mesmerized. Walking along, and uh, all of a sudden, we looked up, and there was an object. It seemed to come out of nowhere, and of course, we were scared, and we ducked down in some tall grass behind a fence line. It was football-shaped, and had red lights, all of a sudden it went up and horizontally it went toward the high bluff and it just kind of went below the bluff and then seemed to just go really fast. In 1967, a man from Toledo was driving home at night when his car suddenly collided with an unseen object. The man grabbed a small piece of shrapnel that he believed to be part of the object he collided with. A week later, he was visited by two men in black suits, which we'll get into later, who then threatened him into giving them the piece of shrapnel. And lastly, in 1996, a group of people claimed to have saw a UFO crash land in Brazil. The MIBs, or Men in Black, are a mysterious group of people who appear identical to one another, and all wear black suits and hats. They claim to be government agents and go around to find people who claim to have encountered aliens and threaten them to keep quiet. They've even been known to assassinate some people in order to shut them up. The concept of Men in Black has inspired a movie of the same name. There are many reported instances of Men in Black being spotted, but one of the most famous examples took place in 2008 in Niagara Falls, where a hotel manager named Shane Sover reported seeing a UFO right outside of his hotel. This was later investigated by an aerial phenomenon investigations team. Three weeks later, eyewitnesses reported seeing two Men in Black entering the hotel. The following footage was recorded on a security camera. So, do I believe aliens exist? Definitely. All the evidence I've compiled, the bacteria found on Mars and on asteroids, and the existence of Kepler-22b prove that life on other planets is possible. Plus, the Men in Black investigations definitely prove something is out there. There are countless more examples of aliens being spotted, but I'm just gonna end it here. But what do you think? I strongly encourage you to do your own research on the topic and come to your own conclusion instead of just taking my word at face value. But for now, my name is PJ, and I'm good. On behalf of the MIB organization we have seized this YouTube channel along with its owner, you may now return to your daily routine. You ain't never gonna slow me down cause I feel alive now.